Welcome to this month's CFP Distilled. I'm Dr. Paul Dillon here with Dr. Simon Moore. What are some of the great articles this month? Number one, why am I next to this beautiful rose? It smells great, but look at these leaves. Could those leaves have a little dew drop on them? I'm talking about that classic rash with primary varicella, dew drops on a rose petal. In those who have been previously vaccinated, you can get breakthrough varicella. We don't see this that often in clinical practice, so be aware. So here I am in the clinic, looking at some of the options for IUD insertion analgesia. Great article in CFP this month, talks about ibuprofen, for example, is not effective. How about giving some buffered lidocaine injections around the cervix before the procedure? Also not consistently effective over multiple studies. Some docs are giving mesoprostol, 600 micrograms intravaginally before the procedure, and then a 4% lidocaine solution topically at the time of, about 20% pain reduction, but not consistently reliable either. So, is there any great option? Turns out the best option, reducing pain of tenaculum and IUD insertion for about 24, 24% reduction is Amla cream. That's lidocaine and prilocaine cream, most effective option for IUD insertion analgesia. Why am I here with this little bike covered in strawberries? We're here to talk to you about Kawasaki's disease, a great quick review article about something we need to know in family practice. What is Kawasaki's disease? Why is there a bike? CRASH is a great acronym to remember the different parts. Conductival injection, rash, adenopathy, that strawberry tongue, and hand and feet swelling. If you have four out of the five of those with that persistent fever, you're thinking about Kawasaki's disease. But why the bike? So that's crash. What happens? What happens if you get in an accident? Well, you've got to call the CAA, coronary artery aneurysms, a dangerous complication. And about 5% of those who get Kawasaki's disease, make sure you're aware of it and get those patients seen.